internet friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa. I'm so happy you're here. If you want to subscribe, we have a super fun time here and books and yeah. So for today's video, I wanted to do my quarter one of book haul. I don't have all the books because I brought some back to my parents' house and it would be more. But I do have a bunch of books that I would love to go through and talk about. First books from Half Priced Books. I picked up two YA romance, Casey West, which if you saw my video of all my books I read, I was obsessed with Casey West and I want to read all of her books now. And I got On the Fence by Casey West, a uh, paperback. The Distance Between Us by Casey West, paperback. Then I thought because I did so well and I didn't buy very many books, I wanted to keep looking. And I ended up finding some self-help workbooks because this year I have decided that in the mornings I'm going to do my self-help books. I'm doing coffee self-talk right now. It's a slow process because I have to write my coffee self-talk words, but I think I'll probably start another book soon. Anyway, here is the Self-Esteem Workbook by Anna Bar Barnes. And this just seemed super cool. Practical tips to help boost your self-esteem, clear, actionable advice on making positive lifestyle changes, exercises in grounded, supported cognitive behavioral therapy, which my doctors say I need to do cognitive behavioral therapy. And yeah, it just looks really cool. So super excited. We are throwing the books. <laughs> Next we have the Healing Workbook, Tips and Guided Exercise to Overcome Trauma, Amanda Marples. I'm sure most of us have some type of trauma in our life. For me it was my, um, my cancer and then just being a sick kid for so long and then now having been chronically ill. And I'm trying to just overcome these things and find these positive ways to move forward. And this is also CBT. Beautiful book. I got Affirmations for Every Day by Gilly Pickup. And it's just affirmations. You can see every day and it's pretty and yeah. I thought it was cool. Okay, I ate a blue airhead. <laughs> before I started filming and now my tongue's blue, so yeah. The 14 Day Mind Cleanse, Clarity, Focus, and Joy, Jackie by Jackie Lewis. So yeah, these are self-help books. I thought it would be cool to clear your mind, especially because I'm doing that coffee self-talk, which is all about writing down these things and doing them every morning, reading out these words and these sentences that really just empower you for the day. Empower you for your life. <laughs> All right, the next place I went to was another used bookstore. I got these three books. So we have The Heartbreakers, which is book one by Ali Novak. I have Paper Hearts and that's book two and I beaded this book. And it is a YA cute romance. Lead sing Oliver is a lead singer of the world's hottest band and Stella has no idea. So, Rockstar, Rockstar Romance. Then I picked up Haley, ha <laughs> Love on the Brain by Haley Hazelwood. I read Love Hypothesis, Hy Hypothesis, and I did really enjoy it. And this is like women in STEM and romances surrounding that. And I think this one might be, oh cool, it's NASA, so. And then I've been obsessed with the Knock Em Out series. I'm on book two and I need to read book three. And I saw this by Lucy Score, which is the same author. Ne Forever Never. And is it just me or does this remind you of Twilight? Like this cover was like super Twilight to me. And it's so like, it just has such a cool feeling that I kind of picked it up for that. But I know it's a standalone, I'm excited to read it. So I do love her. Okay, the next section is my friend found books online and she said that I could look through them after she looked through them and I looked through them and I found some ones that maybe I wouldn't have 
necessarily picked up. I found this hardback of Joanne M. Harris's Blue Salt Road Mermaid Story. And I think there's some pictures, which I thought was cute. So yeah, I'm excited. And then I didn't I found this one Bleed by Lori Fla Farah Holes. And it is the same author. It's the same author as this book, which book one was one of my favorites. So um so yeah, I just randomly picked this up and yeah right out. And I picked up a few thrillers. This was the one that I kept here and the rest are at my mom's. I don't really read with thrillers very often but I did like Verity and I thought I would try The Good Girl by Mary Kupika. That sounded super cool. Okay so it's an adult thriller I guess. I don't know if it's a romance. I think it's just thriller. One night Mia enters a bar to meet her on again off again boyfriend. But when he doesn't show, she unwisely leaves with a stranger. At first, Colin seems like he's one safe, one, he's a safe one night stand, but following Colin home will turn out to be the worst mistake in Mia's life. Eek! Like, that just sounds insane. I think I've watched some movies like that, actually. And then this, I just, what is in it? Oh, someone drew something. Oh, the fridge. Weird. All right, throw that away. Things you find in used, uh, in used books. Why girls are weird. Sometimes life is stranger than you are. And it just seems like fun. <laughs> By Pamela Ribbon. She was just writing a story. It is a adult chick flick, I guess. Ch chicklet, I guess you'd call it. This is the only one that I actually picked up that I was like, I really need this so bad, but also the, um, the bled one also because I know that author. But this is by Becky Alberti Tally and Aish Asiad. Yes, no, maybe so. People talk about this book a lot. And it is a romance. And I'm excited. Really good condition. We had to get the sticker off, but that's about it. Yeah, pretty cool. Next at the library book sale, which I actually hadn't been in years. I picked up a few books. So I have this 2020 Poetry Marathon Anthology, which I've been getting into poetry lately, and it just seemed really cool. All different poems throughout with different people. So I'm excited to try that. I picked up Holy Moments, a handbook for the rest of your life. Another short self-help Christian book. A YA Romance, Unbreak My Heart by Melissa Walker. I didn't think there really wasn't that much YA, which I was really super surprised about because that's what I really like to find and read. But this was so cool. It says, broken. Clementine shattered a rule of friendship this year. Gone. Now she's stuck sailing with her family for the summer. Lonely. Floating away isn't bad when you don't have any friends left. New. No. But there's a boy sailing the same route, James. Hopeful. He doesn't know anything about Clem's past. Love. Can the promise of summer crush heal a broken heart? Pretty cool. I'm gonna have to put all these books back. Last one, Sloppy First by Megan McCaffrey. Honestly, I'm, I think it's YA. Could be adult. I'm not sure. But it sounded funny. So, yeah. And then my friend gave me this book and book she was getting rid of. The story. And it's a super cool Christian guide for um, NIV. And it's the story of the Bible in its own words. Accurate, readable, clear, with short transitions to connect the reader to the story. Events, people, and teachings of the Bible chronologically. Timelines of the Bible events. List of people in the Bible with descriptions of who they are, which I always get confused with. And discussion questions. So, pretty cool. My husband and I are going to go through that. I'm afraid if I put my book on any of these piles, are going to fall. And then, 
actually yesterday, no, a few days ago, my husband and I hit up two new bookstores, and one of them is a used bookstore that's been around for a long time, but I haven't been there, and then another one is a new bookstore that opened. Oh, I also picked up my, have my first Brooklyn Mermaid, Choose Your Own Adventure book, and I got this at a small used bookstore. Exciting. Okay, at the used one, I picked up The Sight by Judy Bundle, and it is book one and book two, and it seems like premonitions, kind of, so YA Supernatural, and I thought the cover was pretty cool. And this one, I, it was in the YA section, but it's not YA when I read the back, so it's adult, which is cool, and it is Werewolf, Werewolf Paranormal Romance. And the cover is so cute. Look at that shiny cover. Yeah, I loved it. So, yeah. I was really surprised. That store did not have much, like, new adult romance or any, like, just romance that's not, like, mass paperback or Nora Roberts or Debbie McCumber. <laughs> like, yeah, it was kind of interesting to me. Maybe they don't sell new adult? I don't know. And then at the new new bookstore, I got three books. The first book I picked up is The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia. This is actually an author that I love. She co-writes the Beautiful Creatures series, which I loved. Oh my gosh, I love that series so much. And this is her book, so I was like, hmm, might as well try it. Looks looks really fun. Then I picked up a poetry memoir, which I've never experienced that, but I'm very excited for what it could be. Seems like the story continues, but through poetry. I tried to read Identical, and it was just too many trigger warnings in that book. I did not like that book, but I think this will be definitely better. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It has lots of cool little designs and they, yeah so it's cool super clean and nice too but they are new books not a used bookstore and then I picked up reminders of him by Colleen Hoover my husband actually picked this one out for me he was like oh you like her and I was like oh I do I've read Verity and I loved it and I want to read other ones by her so I and the cover is so beautiful oh my goodness I love that reminds me of um Demi Lovato's little birds on her wrist well that is all my book haul for the quarter of one in my defense it was four months of books and some were not bought I think I have like 10 not in this pile but like 10 so like five like I said that were not even bought and then the library book sale they were 25 cents <laughs> so yeah how can I not pass that up <laughs> I have a lot of books and I should do a all the books I own video but it's all the books unread video but I think it's close to 500 and I really don't know if my body has that energy to do that video right now um, I will be reorganizing my bookshelves into rainbow hopefully soon and I'll have a video out for that and yeah so that is all of my book haul um, I no, I'm not gonna say sorry because I'm trying not to <laughs> say sorry so much for things that I don't need to say sorry about um, my health is the most important and I have to work on it every single day and some days that means I don't have, some weeks that means I don't have the energy to do certain things. So I just have to say that I'm happy that I did this book haul now and I can finally put these in a space instead of having to keep them out because I wanted to do a book haul so bad. And um, I'm proud of myself for getting through this, but yeah. If you made it to the end of the video, leave the word bird or a bird emoji because that'd be cool. And tell me what you have bought recently. I would love to check it out. 
That is all for my book haul of quarter one. And remember, you can find magic wherever you look. Sit back and relax. All you need is a book. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye!